Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Thursday, May 9th, 2024. And here are some of today's trends in the news. Again, the trend is your friend, and you don't get trends forecasting anywhere else. Google up uh, Top Trends magazine. Oh, fashion. Stupid crap. Nothing. These aren't trends magazines. You know what they are? Bullshit. Magazines. We're giving you what nobody else in the world has given you. Oh, gold prices. Wow, they were way up today again, huh? What do we got gold at now? Let's see. Uh, 23.45. What was one of your top trends in 2024? Golden year for gold. That's right. Pop, bada bing, boom, pop, pop. And that's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal. $2.50 a week. We're giving you what nobody else in the world has given you anywhere, anyhow, any place. Anyway, so going on to the markets. Uh, the markets had another good day today. Oil prices, that is still hanging a little low in the 84 range. See what has to happen over there in the Middle East for them to go back up. And, uh, you know, it's... It's a guessing game right now with the markets, but they're going to do everything they can to keep propping them up in the run-up to the presidential reality show coming up in November. And that's all it is. It's a reality show, a fucking freak show, as I see it with two fucking freaks in the show. I don't care who you like, who you want. They're all crap to me. And I'll give you the data that says why I think that. Again, I'm a political atheist. I look at things the way, way they are, not the way I want them to be. How the fuck can anybody be so stupid? I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. I got a fucking mind that fucking big, and I don't get out of that. I'm still in fucking kindergarten. Anyway, so going on, global debt surges to new record high in blow to world economy. This is from the Telegraph, a blow. You ready for this? Global debt has surged to a record $315 trillion. You can't make this shit up. Yes, you can. You can make this shit up because shitheads are in control. Capish? All right? How can they do this crap? Oh, why is gold going up? Because people with a brain bigger than a fucking pea know how bad this shit is. And it's only going to get worse. <laughs> China and India continue their borrowing binge despite risks posed by geopolitical tensions and higher interest rates. They go on to say, given sticky U.S. inflation and the expected delay to Federal Reserve cuts, a dollar rally could once again bring government debt strains to the fore, particularly for developing countries. And that's according to the Institute for International Finance. No fucking shit. What have been writing about in the Trends Journal? You got company, countries after countries, they're lowering interest rates because their economies are slowing down while the United States has high interest rates and a lot of commodities are dollar-based. So what does that mean? Where's it going? It's in your Trends Journal. And no one's talking about it the way we are. Nowhere, anywhere, any place. What else we got? Ah, Australian inflation data, dense rate cut hopes. Yeah. Australia's going through shit because of the fucking three years of zero COVID policy, basically. Locking down the fucking country. Destroying it. And now the economy's going down, the people are suffering, and they're afraid to lower interest rates because inflation is so high. What a fucking freak show. In a country near you. Buenos Aires Times, you ready? Argentina's manufacturing sector performed far worse than expected in March. Not far worse than expected, the shit that this fucking scumbag that's playing the role over there, that freaky little guy that went over to Israel to tell him how much he loves the slaughtering going on. Oh, yeah. And what's your inflation rate over there? Yeah, it's about 270%. Making up crap, destroying the country, 
Industrial production dropped by 21.2% in March from a year ago. Construction activity plunged 42%. Yep. Over 70% of manufacturing employees expect reduced headcount in the second quarter. Argentina lost 480, excuse me, 48,000 construction jobs from November to February. You got, again, shitheads in charge. <laughs> Washington revokes license for supply chips to this Chinese company, Huawei. I'm mentioning this because then you read, again, they're fighting this war. Global car makers team up with Chinese tech giants. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Toyota, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, and a host of other global automakers are increasingly turning to China's high-tech giants in a bid to claw back market share. All right? Get this in your head, everybody. What does China have, like 1.4 billion people? They got a huge market. They want to do business there. The United States is playing this game in the, to the run up to the election to show how tough they are on China. It's total Biden. Bullshit. Biden. Bullshit. Biden. Bullshit. VW cautions Europe against raising tariffs on China EVs. Brussels should not raise on imports, imported Chinese electric cars and doing so would risk retaliation against international groups in the country. The head of Volkswagen said, you got it, everybody. It's all about the bottom line. And they don't want it to disappear because it is. China is becoming a self-sustaining economy like we had forecasted would. And you could thank slime ball motherfucker. Oh, no, I shouldn't say motherfucker. Young girl fucker, Bill Clinton. I didn't have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. All she did was suck my dick. That ain't sex. This is a scumbag that brought China into the World Trade Organization and gave us NAFTA. China was a shithole country. All these fucking companies, the deal was, you want to come to China to do business? Yeah, you can own 47, 49% of the business. We own, we own 51%, and you have to give us all your technology because we don't have it. And now they got it, and now they're surpassing everybody. News Corp revenue earnings decline. News Corp posted lower quarterly earnings and earnings due to a slowdown in advertising. Wow. But then they go on in Wall Street Journal averaged 3.715 million digital subscribers. Yep. The Wall Shit Journal giving you almost nothing. And you don't want to subscribe to the Trends Journal? No. Why support the best magazine in the world? No, it's only $2.50 or 56 cents, excuse me, a week. And the Wall Street Journal's $5 a day by the Murdoch gang. Gets better. Subscribers up. Ad sales down. In the toilet paper a record, the New York slime, 9.91 million people. Could you imagine subscribers, digital? Could you imagine if the Trends Journal had 1 million and the difference we could make in the world? So, all you subs people listening today, for a lousy $2.56 a week, subscribe to the Trends Journal, get history before it happens. We're giving you what nobody else is. We're helping you prepare. We're helping you prepare, prevail. We're helping you prosper for what's going on ahead. Again, top trend 2024, golden age for gold. What's gold up now? Huh. It's only about up uh, 14, 15% from the start of the year when we said this. New owner of Refinery29 plans more purchases, right? Buying up more KKR to set acquire Australian businesses keeps going. So, <clears throat> assault on Rafah 
cuts Gaza aid to a trickle. That's only according to uh, the United Nations. Only 15,000 liters of fuel left the generators and vehicles in southern Gaza, less than 10% of the daily demand. <sighs> Some 60 trucks entered Tuesday. The Israeli military said, that's down from 500 before the war. It keeps going on. House GOP's next target, reports of anti-Semitism in K-12 schools. Could you believe this fucking shit? If you're against the genocide being committed by Israel, then you're an anti-Semite. Again, hate Israeli genocide? You're an anti-Semite. School district officials have faced off with students, parents, school boards, members, and teachers about issues related to the Israeli-Hamas war. But now, not members of Congress, not members of little fucking scumbag pricks, little pieces of shit telling us what to do. The same motherfuckers and father fuckers who locked us down during the COVID war. Little pieces of shit making up crap because you're getting money from APAC and all of the other ones, you little shits. You little shits. Oh, could you imagine if Russia was doing to Ukraine as Israel is doing to the Palestinians? Oh, my God, those lousy Russians. What bullshit. The Council of American Islamic Relations has filed a lawsuit. Yep. You ready for this? Trump. Again, I can't stand the fucking arrogant prick. He's a, he's a little daddy's boy. Get this in your head, everybody. He's a little fucking daddy's boy. His old man left him off a half a fucking billion dollars. I had lunch with his brother, Robert. Yeah. All right. We passed away. Trump, who celebrated... January 16th mob, cheers, college, crackdowns. The police came in at exactly two hours. Everything was over. It was a beautiful thing, he said, after they closed down Columbia University to watch. Former President Trump chastised President Biden early Thursday morning, today, for threatening to withhold certain offensive weapons from Israel. Yeah, give Israel the weapons so they can slaughter these unarmed people, blow the fucking place to smithereens, destroy it. If Israeli forces invade Rafah, you ready? Quote, crooked Joe Biden. This guy calling crooked, right? This is the guy that used to fuck contractors out of their last payment when he's building the losing hotel over there in Atlantic City and other places. This guy got a track record of fucking over people like crazy. Crooked Joe Biden, whether he knows it or not, and again, I can't stand fucking Biden either, just said he will, will, he will withhold weapons from Israel as they fight to extradite Hamas terrorists in Gaza. What are you talking about, extricate Hamas terrorists in Gaza? You're slaughtering all these innocent people. What, a Hamas wearing a fucking uniform? I'm Hamas bombing the shit out of destroying the hotels, universities, excuse me, the hospitals, the universities, the schools, people's homes, businesses. Oh, Hamas lived in them. Trump posted on Truth Social, piece of shit social. Quote, Hamas murdered thousands of innocent civilians, including babies. Total fucking bullshit. That's right. All the fucking crap about the babies being beheaded is total fucking bullshit. It's estimated that one or two kids died in the thing with, with the war going on over there. Hey, a Biden, a, a Trump shit, a Trump scumbag, a Trump, you arrogant little fuck. How about all the Palestinian children that are being killed in front of your eyes? What Biden is doing with respect to Israel is disgraceful, Trump said. If any Jewish person voted for Joe Biden, 
They should be ashamed of themselves. This is the same Trump whose son-in-law, Jared Kushner, said how wonderful it is to have all that, quote, waterfront property in Gaza. It's valuable. Jared Kushner, former President Donald Trump's son-in-law, described waterfront property in Gaza as valuable. Speaking at Harvard, he said Gaza's waterfront property could be very valuable. Yep. It's a little bit of an unfortunate situation there. A little bit of an unfortunate situation as they're slaughtering everybody. But from Israel's perspective, I would do my best to move the people out of there and clean it up. These are the scumbags. That is genocide by definition. He added that Israel should move the Palestinian civilians into the Negev desert. All right? These are the scumbags. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pledged to fight Hamas with his fingernails. Oh, you're going to go out there and fight? As he dismissed President Joe Biden's warning that he would not provide arms for a major military operation in Rafah. Quote, if we need to stand alone, we will stand alone, Netanyahu said. I have said that if necessary, we will fight with our fingernails. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, is your son still down hiding in Miami? He's not fighting over there, is he? And neither are you. But we have much more than fingernails. And with the same strength of spirit, with God's help, we will win. What God you're talking about? Thou shalt not kill. Oh, yeah, Moses. You remember Moses came down with the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not kill, huh? What the fuck you talking about? What God you talking about? Probably the same God in God we trust in the back of all the American currencies because they're murderers just like you. And I launched Occupy Peace over a decade ago. You like the Afghan war? No, I like the Vietnam war. The Korean war was great. How about the, uh, the oh, two Iraq wars? Well, the first one wasn't as good as the second one. Oh, I want that guy Gaddafi out of there. Saw us to go. What are you talking about? Oh, God, you're talking about. This is the crap shit. University of Chicago, National Model for Free Speech removes camp. One lockdown after another. This is from the toilet paper record. How counter-protests at UCLA used unchecked violence for hours. A New York Times examination of more than 100 videos from clashes at the University of California, Los Angeles, found that violence ebbed for nearly five hours, mostly with little or no police intervention. And they say that the videos show many of the counter-protesters are wearing pro-Israeli slogans. So it's okay for the pro-Israelis to beat the shit out of little boys and girls. It's okay for pro-Israeli protests, but you're not allowed to have a pro-Palestinian protest. You are not allowed to protest for peace because that's become the American way. And you know why? Because we have pieces of shit running the country. Ah, keeps going on. Uh, other stuff. <laughs> U.S., EU to use profits from Russian assets for Kiev. Uh, isn't that a nice line? The deal struck by the bloc's 27 ambassadors targets profits made by Belgium's central securities depository, Euroclear, where about $200 billion of Russia's central bank's assets are held. $200 billion, they use the language you, EU to use profits. You're stealing their fucking money. You got it? You're stealing their fucking money. Again, go to your Trends Journal. We, we, this, this week's edition, you look at the cover of the Trends Journal. 
and it says it all what's going on. The boss. Yep. You're running the country near you. And we're giving you everything that we can. Where, where the economy's going, again, you, you saw the, the interviews we, 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 what we do. And so uh, you go to trendsjournal.com, subscribe, and also hit the subscribe button to get the word out. Our, we're getting shadow banned because people don't like what I have to say. And we need, again, you'll see the millions and millions of subscribers to these shitty fucking newspapers, and we're giving you what nobody else in the world is giving you. So how about giving something back? Because what you give, you get back a hundredfold. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.